Hey guys, welcome back to Stoneheart with me, Banto. So we're back here with Amai Town Willow, and in the previous one we started to build this kind of like town square thing. And we're gonna have some houses around this eventually as we progress with this. And we're gonna try to keep the different professions close to this, so. And we also want to reach the mountains eventually, and that's kind of like a goal a little bit ahead of us, but uh, that's where we want to reach in the end with it. I think we should start to add a little bit more of a road so we can get a little bit closer to this. Maybe we should have this road so it becomes like wider once you reach this place. You know, just so it kind of like matches up a little bit better. Something like that, so it's free in width instead of just having two blocks, so that should be matching up way better with this. And I guess they're done with this part, so that went really, really quick, so we can make this road as well. Daily update, let's check this out. Oh, we beat food. Oh, almost with uh, the net worth as well. So one thing that's really good with the roads in this game is that they look good, but they also are good because people moving on your roads will actually be moving faster which means if we continue this road up to the mountains they're gonna try to take that road as much as possible and that should uh, speed up the traveling very very much so and we really want to reach this because we want to get different ores and things so my blacksmith eventually can start to make some great armor and weapons don't remember if we promoted anyone yet to become a blacksmith yeah we got vera for that we should have a workshop too, I guess. Here we got it. I don't think we really have any real ores for this. No, we basically have basically have stone for the moment. But you know, eventually we will get some upgraded armor and weapons. I know that one guy asked if... I um, don't know if we have any of those here yet. Those the goblin camps, if um, you can fix them in some way. As far as I know, you can do it in any way for the moment. I guess maybe in the future. When you dig into hills, you will get dirt as well. And you can maybe put it back to where those places be. So you can fix that or it will be out of fix it by itself once uh, you defeat a camp after a period of time. So we will see what happens with that, I guess. Armored oh, goblins, you stand no chance against my soldiers. I guess one is running away. Yeah, Liz was running away. We had two soldiers in this one, right? Yeah, we got Liz and Luna for the moment. I still want to keep some workers because they are doing... A good amount of work for our town, so I think we should make some houses here. We kind of have a little bit of an idea how how I should do this. I'm thinking about having a house that goes like around this, goes around that as well. So all three or yeah, three houses. Maybe a fourth here. The fourth one might look a little bit different because we have different amount of space to work around with this one. Got the same, but this one has a little bit less of a space around it. So, so we can start to design this and. We can actually design the whole thing before we do anything. So let's see here what we should have. We can make them still look a little bit different, I guess. So for example, we could have... Um, let's have the blacksmith first. Let's get some floor for this. I think we should have a pretty dark one. We could go for, you know, stone as well. So this is uh, 6 in width for the moment. And maybe we want to try to keep it the same here as well. So that would be the, the correct amount, and we maybe just want to go maximum to that point. So that should be pretty good, and we can do it the same thing, you know, at the other side just to get it done, but uh, I wonder if we should have the same. So let's go for like a blacksmith house here, and up here, what should we have here? Maybe we should have... Um, let's have a weaver up here, so let's go for a little bit of a different floor for this. Making sure that we still got 6 in width. We might change this later on, but uh, just to have, you know, something to start out with. And there we go. And uh, blacksmith and weaver, and we should get for... We should have a stonemason as well. So, let's see here. Weaver, uh, blacksmith, weaver, stonemason. Stonemason, I think we're gonna give him stone. Just, I think that's gonna look better. So, where should he be? Let's have him here. And I guess he can have a pretty different house. I wonder, I'm just gonna check so this is not a problem. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. You see, I saved one block, so... Because, you know, previously in Stoneheart it was a requirement. You need to have, like, I think about one and a half block or two blocks. But you don't really need that anymore, so... 
So this should be safe, but uh, I'm not entirely sure if I'm done with this floor. We might want to have it a little bit bigger. Maybe we can make it go around like this. Let's have it like that. Okay, so blacksmith, weaver, stonemason, and here we're gonna have... Hmm... Should I have a carpenter here as well? Let's have the carpenter here. He should have a wooden floor for sure. Working with a lot of the wood, so... Kinda makes sense, at least to me. So six in width again. And yes, yeah, six on this side as well. And we're gonna... Maybe change it later on, like I said. Because this might be a little bit... So I think I will go for... Let's go for the seven. So we're just gonna add that... Oh, this is tricky. I think it was this one. Yeah. Could have found it directly. That could be a pain to find this again. And this one should be simple. There we go. I think we're done with that, so we can continue with the rest of the houses. So this is gonna be the blacksmith. I think we will go for a different wall. We're not gonna go for a wooden one for this. I think we'll go for a stone one. So let's go for something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't really think we should have anything like, you know, on top of this. We might make uh, the roofs look different. I think I will have a flat roof for this one. Should we go for the same roofs for them? We can just go for, you know, different colors for them. So for example here we can have uh, with blacksmith. Let's have a red roof for the blacksmith. We need to have some door for this. They can enter and exit. And we need to have... Uh, I haven't decided if I should have so the blacksmith actually works outside of here. I think I will have so the blacksmith work here. So maybe we should... Hmm... Maybe we should revert that and put the door here. And the blacksmith could be working on this here. Do you want to buy something? Hmm. Let's see if we have any goods to sell. Something that we can earn a little bit on. We got the wooden dressers. They give a lot. We got some fine ones. I think we'll save them because... That's like rare crafts, which uh, you get kind of money, but uh, not really that money. So I guess we could buy some wood. Doesn't hurt to have some extra wood. Okay, so let's get some some uh, windows with this. Should have, I guess, one there. Don't really think we need to have that many windows for the blacksmith. I'm gonna try to see how do we put that one. Like that. There we go. And... Two windows that side should be good enough. Kind of feel like I want to have a one there, but I think I'm gonna skip it. Okay, so I think we're basically done with this first house, so we can build it. We have so much stuff to build here, so I think it would be worth to try to make one at a time. So blacksmith house is done with that. We're gonna add a lot of decoration, add a few more things to it once it gets further. Haha, you new kid. Oh, so this guy comes and he's gonna try to, you know, demand stuff from us, but we're not gonna design it. Because we are not working for the goblins. This is our stuff, this is not their stuff. Here we got him. So this is the thing that one of you guys asked, if this will be possible to fix it. In current version, as far as I know, you cannot fix it. And uh, maybe in the future, we will see. I would see that you could fix it with dirt. And here we got a little bit of a risky thing. As you see, our footman is going up here against the goblins. And it's pretty close to the camp, so what we could potentially do is send one of our guardians, the whole group, here. Because if you have them here, it is such a big risk that your people are gonna run into them. It has happened to me before many, many times, and I really, really wanna avo avoid that. So I think if I put them here, they're gonna like stay in this area. They have a little bit of uh, space they can move between, but uh, they're gonna try to be here. We see that Liz is, doesn't seem that suited for this. She has, I think it's because she has so low spirit, you can go inside here and you should see the courage. Very low courage if compared to, not really that low. One third of it though, but uh, I mean, Luna didn't have that amazing courage either, not this one, this Luna girl. Uh, let's move, let's move them over here. I'm just gonna try, you know, like I said, avoid running too far, because they shouldn't run too far if I put them like this. Okay, so I think we can continue with this house. That's gonna be a little bit on my guard if they're gonna try to, you know, get over here. So this is the weaver's house. I think we should have uh, wooden walls for this. And the white ones would look pretty good. We should have a door for this. 
I guess we can go for the door, kind of like similar as the previous house, and we can add some windows here. Can have a little bit more windows on this house. Maybe some in the back, maybe two. And yes, one on that side, and we should have a roof. This time though, I think we'll go for an wooden one. Should go for dark one maybe. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm pretty satisfied with that. So let's build that one as well. So th this is a lot of houses in a short amount of time and... I hope this is gonna look pretty decent at least. How is she doing? I'm just gonna pause the game a little bit. I wanna check her health. It looks like something is going on here. Because we cannot see the info for the health. 80 health, 78 health. This is a little bit scary. Now it's just one left. I think we need to get a new warrior because Liz is not really suited for this. I think her spirit is just too low. So I think we need to get someone else to become a footman. We don't, but we don't really have any really good people for it. So we got a trader here. If you make me six wooden window frames, I will back you in one day and give you one plushy toy rabbit. But I don't want those. We don't need any toys here for the moment. And where do we have these guys? Yeah, we gotta avoid going too far. If they get hungry, I'm just gonna move them down and then I'm gonna let them go and eat. So let's continue with the rest of the houses. So I think we should do the stone mason now. And this one obviously gonna have... This is gonna have stone walls. Because uh, it's a stone mason working here. And uh, maybe go for this one. We should go for a pretty bright one. Just to make it stick out a little bit from the blacksmith's house. And maybe we should go... Should we go for the double door for this? Just to make it look a little bit different than other houses. Maybe it's a window, you can check out what's going on in this road. And maybe one window at this side. None that. And maybe one here. I think I satisfied with it as well, but I'm gonna try to, you know, go for the same kind of, like, uh, theme with this. So I'm gonna have a kind of like the same roof with it. I could make them special, and, like, make them really, really look like a blacksmith. But I really kind of want to make them fit together pretty good. So we can have one different color for each house. I would guess we might have the same for this one with some color. We will see once we get it done, so. So this is the carpenter's house, and I think that we should have a dark wall for this. And we need to have a door, of course, and windows, like always. There we go. And one there, and maybe some in the back. Let's keep for that side, we can have one for this side. And we're gonna have a roof, we're gonna go for a wooden one. I think we'll go for the brown, so we're gonna make both these two brown. Why have this one changed? It should be blue. Finish that one, finish that one, what's happening here? You guys gonna check it out? Armored goblin, okay we got some goblins down there, so I'm gonna send our soldiers down. Let's bring them down, so they come from both directions. That's pretty bad. Daily update. Oh, we beat it. Awesome. Who's gonna join us today, guys? Who we will see. Ezra Preston. That's a guy. So, let's name this dude. This is gonna be Sylvester Rep. A request from Sylvester Rep. Let's add you to the game. Welcome to our town, Willow. Let's see what we should do. They're building. They, they can have a lot of things to do here. We got my soldiers down here. I think we should be pretty safe. I mean, Luna got a really, really good weapon. Not sure where Liz is, though. Where's Liz? Is she hiding inside there? Where is she? There she is. I think I'm gonna get them away. The thing that I don't really trust the people. Because there's such a big risk, like I said before, that they're gonna aggro someone here. And they're just eventually gonna get into the camp and it's gonna be troublesome. So I'm gonna check Sylvester, what stats did he have? I didn't check it. Okay, we got a bad body, I got good spirit. I want someone who's really got a really good body. I think Rely can actually could actually probably do pretty good. Atlas got a really good spirit, but uh, his body is not that good. I think I'm gonna give Rely a chance to be one of our soldiers. I'm gonna promote you to our footman. Okay, we don't have a sword, so we have to make sure we make a sword first. I thought I had to always maintain. Nope, we didn't. 
And I know one of you guys also asked how do it work with crafting in maintain? So craft, it basically means you're making the amount you want. Maintain, it's making sure that you always have this amount in stock. Which is like this and select. Like, I want to always have five in supply. And the reason you might see that you sometimes get a little bit more of a stuff might be bugs, but mostly I would guess it's because the item is traveling. So someone is moving an item and maybe you're moving stockpiles around and that item is moving and it's not owned by you because it's, it has to be in a stockpile to be owned by you. So, so that way they might make a little bit more than you're supposed to have, but generally I would guess it shouldn't really it did be that big of a problem really. So where do we get our carpenter? Leonardo, okay he's eating. Because I don't think he has made any weapon yet. If he have, he's really quick. No, he hasn't. But I think this can look pretty good actually. I don't know what you guys think. I really hope so. This is my first attempt at making town square, so I mean don't expect too much of it. Hopefully it's gonna be looking pretty decent at least. But I mean this town is already growing pretty big. See that we got some weird things going on here. But there are ways to solve this. So there's another command that you can write in and you have to bring up your console. I don't know what key it is for you if you live in Sweden. It's a, uh, but uh, it differs depending where you live. And you basically write in kill, select the thing you want to delete, make sure it's the thing you want to delete and just uh, click kill and you kill the thing. And it's gone. We just killed three ladders. We are murderers or something, I don't know. Yeah, now the music is going on weird. I thought that, like, I'm gonna add the game music again, but uh, I might regret it. Like I said before with this, there are a lot of trouble with it. They gotta work with a little bit with the sound ending or something, so it doesn't, like, start and stop the music that often. They gotta adjust the battle music to not be that much louder than the normal in-game music. Because it just become a horrible mess, to be honest. But I think this is pretty good, we're starting to get a new good square, uh, town square here, so that's gonna look pretty good. Oh, he's shivering in fear? Oh no! And I'm actually gonna be doing some new games soon. I started with Terraria, so I'm gonna do some more Terraria pretty soon. I also said that I was supposed to do Never Alone. I will see what I would do with that because I played it with my friend this weekend, so... I kinda spoiled myself with that. But I will be playing a game called King's Quest, which is a game that's gonna come out the latest of the month. And I'm gonna do a let's play with that, so if you're interested to see that, I'm gonna be shooting that, so you should check it out once I start to do it. I see that now people are running into this camp here, and that's bad. What do we got? So Liz is scared of one goblin, but she feels like she could rush into everyone. I'm gonna try to make them go back. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they're doing it. I don't. Re I really don't want to go in there. Not for the moment. I want to have maybe at least, I guess, three warriors before we do that. Where do we get our carpenter? Where are Leonardo? Have you made a weapon? If you haven't, I wonder what you're doing there. Oh, he has. Such a good guy. No, no, no. I promoted the wrong guy. No. Sylvester is supposed to be a normal worker. Let's promote him back. Approve, and we're gonna get Rely to become our warrior. Because that was uh, that was what we are supposed to do. So that would be our third soldier. And see we got some good weapons here. We already got one of those guide bone maces prepared. So there you go Rely, he got a nice weapon and a great shield. But guys, I think this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'm really looking forward to see how this is gonna end up and how this is gonna look. And I really look forward to, you know, get close to this, start doing some blacksmithing, mining and things like that and make some good equipment. But guys, thank you for this, hope you liked it. If you did, leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more of me, Banto. So guys, have a great day, take care.